Hi, and welcome back. The focus of the video this week will be discussing glaucoma, both primary open angle and acute glaucoma. Let's start with primary open angle glaucoma, which is sometimes known as chronic glaucoma. First things first, all glaucomas are to do with a raised intraocular pressure, with about 2% of people over 40 suffering from it. Some of the risk factors include genetic predispositions, Afro-Caribbean patients, myopia, raised blood pressure, diabetic patients, and steroids. Typically patients would present with if they would call a tunnel vision or a peripheral visual loss. Sometimes they present with a decreased visual acuity and on examination there will be some classic optic disc cupping. In general practice we're not really experts in vendoscopy, but in primary care there are some features that you need to be aware of including optic disc cupping, pale optic discs, bayoneting of vessels, disc hemorrhages and cup notches. These patients often need specialist ophthalmological care, where they'll often undergo certain investigations including visual field perimetry which shows defects, slit lamp examinations showing some optic nerve damage, intraocular pressure measurement via thermometry, usually about 24 mm of mercury, and risk factor assessments. With regards to management, NICE recommend first line treatment through prostaglandin analogues, and second line treatment through a choice of beta blockers, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, or alpha-2 receptor agonists. If all above fails, usually trabeculectomy surgery or laser treatment is recommended. Patients are often then reassessed more frequently to monitor disease progression. There's also a national screening program for those patients more at risk. We should cover specific drug therapies and understand the basics a little more. With prostaglandin analogues such as latanoprost, increasing UVO scleral outflow, but they intend to increase the brown pigmentation around the iris and can increase eyelash length. Beta blockers, like timolol, reduce aqueous humor production, but they should be avoided in asthmatic patients or those with heart blocks. Alpha-2 receptor agonists like bromonidine also reduce the aqueous humor production and increase outflow, but they can cause hyperemia, and there needs to be care when using them with antidepressants. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, like dolzolamide, also reduce aqueous humor production, but systemic absorption may cause sulfonamide-like reactions. And then there's myotics, like pilocarpine increase UV scleral outflow, but they can cause constricted pupils, headaches, and blurred vision. Moving on to acute angle closure glaucoma, or acute glaucoma, this is considered an emergency where patients often present with symptoms such as a severe unilateral ocular pain, severe decreased visual acuity, worsened when there's dilated eyes, red eyes, halos, or semi-dilated non-reactive pupils typically when you examine them with some corneal haziness. There are some people that are at higher risk of developing acute glaucoma, including those with long-sightedness or dilated pupils in general. These patients will need an urgent eye assessment and often need emergency treatment, requiring a usually a combination of myotics to help constrict the pupil and help outflow of aqueous humor, beta blockers to help reduce aqueous humor production, and alpha-2 agonists to help reduce production and help outflow of aqueous humor as well. Sometimes carbonic anhydrase inhibitors are used, and these are often given intravenously, and may reduce secretions with ultimate treatment being laser iridotomy, which is definitive because it creates a hole in the iris that helps outflow of the aqueous humour. And that's a wrap. Glaucoma, both chronic and acute, are important not to miss presentations and they will come up in your career and doubtless in your MRCGP exams. If you've liked the video, leave a like and give us your thoughts in the comments below. We've got a growing Facebook page and Instagram page too, so be sure to head over there and follow all the recent posts. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.